guys, Jessica here, and today we are going to be making an all new and improved homemade dog food. These are going to be meatballs for your dogs. We're going to do four different types. We're going to do a salmon, we're going to do a beef, a pork, and we're going to do a mixture of a beef and pork. So stick with us. I'm going to give you all four recipes. There's going to be a link in the description below so you can get all four recipes. You can make one or you can make all four. My dogs love all four of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I like to get all my prep out of the way first and we're gonna start with our pork because I did not have the forethought to have our butcher ground the pork. So we had to get out our meat grinder, which is a hand grinder. And as you will see, we ground this pork by hand. I do not recommend doing this. If you have an electric meat grinder, then maybe you're okay to go ahead and uh, get a full pork shoulder and go ahead and grind it yourself but I don't recommend doing it I recommend getting your butcher to go ahead and grind it for you if at all possible and then we're gonna get to our salmon because like I said I like to get all my prep out of the way we're gonna go through the salmon we're gonna pull out all the bones as you can see here we pulled out all the bones and checked it double checked it to make sure we got all the bones out of it now we are going to uh, actually cut up our salmon into small chunks we like to put our salmon in the food processor to grind it up and um, I'll show you what that looks like just a little bit later. Okay, so we're gonna start with our salmon. I've got it ground up from the food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and add some applesauce. This is homemade apples that I put in the blend tech and blended it together. Then we're gonna add our pureed carrots. As you'll see here, they're nice and soft. I cooked them and then pureed them, also in the food processor. Then we're gonna add our vitamin mixture, which is an, uh, an all-around vitamin, good for your dogs, which I'll put a link in the comments below. Then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. This is mostly just for flavor for your dogs. Um, then we've got some chopped up parsley. Love those greens, your dogs love their greens. We're gonna add the chopped up parsley to the meatball recipe. Then we've got some bread crumbs. I again put some bread in the food processor. This is whole wheat bread. Um, and we're gonna add that in to our container to mix all together. And you can use gluten-free bread if you need to. Then we're gonna add our eggs to our mixture. I've got two beautiful brown eggs. We're gonna add the whole eggs into our mixture and then we're actually gonna just get our hands in there, get dirty and mix it all up. All right, now that we've got our meatballs mixed together, we're going to measure out one ounce portions. And this is where our kitchen scale comes into play because if we measure all of our meatballs into one ounce portions each, then it's gonna make it easy for us to know how much to pull out of the freezer, how much how many of these to feed our dogs every day. So we're gonna measure them out into one ounce portions. Once we've got our baking sheet full of, um, of the meatballs, then we're going to pop them in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, so while our salmon meatballs are in the oven and cooking, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our pork meatballs. So I've got our ground pork, which was very fun. And now we're going to add our organ meat. I've got uh, chicken livers right here that I'm adding. We're, then we're going to go ahead and add our chopped parsley. Love those greens, and your dogs love them too. They need them, they're a good source of fiber. So we're gonna add the chopped parsley. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our grated Parmesan cheese. This is mostly just for flavoring for your dogs. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our pureed carrots. These are boiled carrots that I put in the food processor or the um, blend tech, uh, whatever kind of blender you may have, and I've just pureed them. It makes it easier. Instead of having like chopped carrots, 
it just makes it easier. So now we're going to add our vitamin mixture. It's an all-in-one vitamin um, that is going to provide extra nutrients for your dogs. Then I've got some pureed blueberries. These are delicious. My dogs love blueberries and we're going to go ahead and add them to our pork meatballs. Next we're going to add some of our homemade applesauce. Again, I just took some apples and I took out the core and the seeds because those are toxic to your pets. Please do not give them the core or the seeds of the apple. And I put them in the blend tech and pureed them down into a homemade applesauce so there's nothing extra added. This is just apples. And we're going to go ahead and add the breadcrumbs next. Again, this is whole wheat bread that I let sit out for a little bit and kind of stiffen up a little bit. And then I also put that in the food processor to kind of get it into a breadcrumb mixture. That way I know that there's nothing else added to these breadcrumbs, it's just bread. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs, which is gonna help bind the meatballs, but eggs are also an excellent source of protein for your dogs. Now we're going to get our hands in there, get messy, and mix it all up together so that we can go ahead and make these delicious meatballs for your dogs. If you don't get messy, you're not doing it right. All right, we are once again going to portion our meatballs into one ounce uh, portion sizes. So we're gonna use our kitchen scale again. We're going to measure these out into one ounce meatball sizes, put them on our baking sheet, and pop them in the oven at 350 degrees. While we place the pork meatballs in the oven to cook, we're going to go ahead and start our beef meatballs by adding the beef and the chicken liver, the organ meat. Go ahead and add the blueberries and the carrots as well. And we're going to go ahead and add our homemade applesauce. As well as the parsley the vitamin mixture, and now we're gonna add some of that Parmesan cheese. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our breadcrumbs, and finally we'll add our eggs. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together using our hands. And I have to tell you, when I was doing this, my hands got so cold, the meat was so cold. So you might want to let your um, meat sit out on the counter for a few minutes before um, mixing everything together. I had kept mine in the fridge all day because as, as I was making this video, um, it was taking me a long time, a lot more time to make the food because I was making the video. So I kept my all of my meats in the fridge and um, so they were just really cold. <laughs> so uh, just a little tip. Okay, so just like with the other meatballs, with the beef meatballs, we're gonna go ahead and use our kitchen scale again. We're gonna measure them out to one ounce portions and hopefully it's getting a little bit easier to figure out um, just by looking at the amount of meat you're putting on the scale what one ounce is going to be. We're going to go ahead and um, make our meatballs in one ounce portions and fill the baking sheets again and place them in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, so our fourth recipe, we're going to do a mixture of beef and pork. So we have the beef and the pork in the main container and I added in the chicken livers. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our blueberries and some pureed carrots as well. Then we've got our homemade applesauce. Go ahead and add in your parsley, the Parmesan cheese, and our multivitamin mixture. Add in your breadcrumbs. And finally, we're gonna add in three large eggs. Then we're gonna go ahead and get all of this combined together. Get your hands in there, mix it all together. Make sure you have everything evenly distributed. Now we're going to, just like we did with the other meatballs, we're going to portion out um, one ounce at a time 
and then roll them into meatballs and place them on our baking sheet. Once we have our baking sheets full, we'll go ahead and pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. All right guys, so we've gotten through all four of our recipes. We've got the salmon, the pork, the beef, and we've got a mixture of the beef and pork. And we've made all of these meatballs for our dogs. So we made them all one ounce, if you remember. And that is because you're gonna feed one ounce per eight pounds twice a day for an adult dog. If you have a puppy or a senior dog, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your veterinarian and make sure that you're feeding them the right amounts of food uh, because puppies and sometimes seniors do need to eat a lot more than an adult dog does. These are our salmon meatballs and you can see I just have a spoon and you can see how moist they are. They, my dogs absolutely love them. I know your dogs will too. So these are the salmon. These are the pork, just as tender and moist. Yeah, I mean, you can see I just have a spoon here and that's how moist they are. Um, so these are the pork. These are the beef just as tender and moist as the, the first two. And this is the mix of the beef and pork, same. The dogs absolutely love these meatballs. These meatballs are both healthy and delicious. Your dogs are gonna love eating these and you're gonna have the benefit of knowing that you're feeding your dogs the best possible food. All right, so, we made a lot of meatballs today and we are not going to put them all in the refrigerator because we want them to keep for a long period of time. That's why we've made so many. So you're gonna get your Tupperware or glassware. I like glassware, but um, if you have Tupperware, that's fine too. You're gonna wanna portion out two to three days worth for your dog or dogs. And that's all you're gonna wanna package in a container at a time. and have one container out in the refrigerator that you're feeding from and put all the other containers in the freezer so that you can easily access them um, when your refrigerator uh, container runs out. So we're gonna go ahead and start packaging. And I like to mix my containers with all four types of uh, meatballs. That way, no matter what container I grab out of the freezer, they're gonna have a mix and they're gonna have a variety and they're gonna um, not be eating the same thing every single day.